Hello and welcome back to another episode. Today, I've had a bit of a nightmare, to say the least. Um, <laughs> it's been interesting uh, from a work perspective. Almost, almost everything that could go wrong has gone wrong for me today. And so here I am making this video which, because of how busy my work week had ended up being, because things were going wrong earlier in the week as well, I thought I was going to have to make this video next week. But I, I, I'm here, and I can do this. I can control this little box that I'm in. We can make this happen. You see, <laughs> earlier today, I was going to do some voiceover work for a video for my my work, uh, for, for, for RQ Soup. But I couldn't, because up until about... Ooh, five minutes ago, outside, people were breaking up concrete with heavy machinery. And so I went to film on location instead, away from this street, only to find when I got back that I hadn't actually pressed record on the final take of the thing that I was recording. Then we had some things happen with a family on a, a, from a medical perspective, I won't go into that. Then, um, I uh, had to go and do some chores, some tasks, some errands. Uh, Mrs. Soup just sort of asked, could you just manage this? And I was having such a weird morning. I went, yes, I'm going to go and do those chores. Only to find that when I went to do the chores, the people who I had to interact with weren't actually doing their jobs properly. And so here I am <clears throat> at four o'clock in the, in the afternoon, almost the evening making this video which as I say I did think might have to be put off until next week but no we can do it and actually that's kind of thematic in many ways to the title of this video as you will have seen and also to the focus of this video the whole theme as I wrote in the notes on my phone is pick summit pick something and go go with it yesterday you said tomorrow so just do it Make your dreams come true. Just do it. Do it. Commit to something, make it happen, and more things will come along that you can make happen. And I think this video actually is, in fact, one of those things. I've picked it, I've chosen it, and I'm doing it, and it's happening, <laughs> despite the weirdness of the day. And all of this came to mind when I was reflecting on the fact that last night, in fact, for example, I reached the milestone of 313 consecutive days on Duolingo. I've been relearning Welsh vocabulary. I grew up speaking Welsh, but obviously having lived outside of Wales for the better part of my life now, at least half of my life, the vocab escapes you, some of the sentence structure escapes you. And and I, I tried to, to, to start Duolingo when my lovely wife started a couple of years ago. She wanted to learn Welsh uh, with me and for a potential kid, if we ever have one, if we ever had one. And uh, I got very frustrated. I, I kept on thinking, I should know this already. I do know this already. I, I I wanted to get ahead of myself because I felt bad for having forgotten words, quite understandably. Uh, and so I didn't actually last that long. I lasted maybe a couple of months. But 313 days ago, I decided to focus. I picked Summit, I picked it, focused on it, and every day, some days I haven't managed, but I use up a, a streak freeze to maintain the day count, you know, so you just pick up where you left off the next day. But that's earned, you know, you earn that by, by having been committed in the days up until when you need the street crease. And here I am, 313 days later, far more familiar with Welsh vocab, far more happy about, uh, about that, that, that whole effort, and also far more understanding of the fact that it's quite, un it's quite understandable, it's quite okay if you live and indeed, if you've done a degree, for example, in the, in the English language and you live surrounded by people who speak nothing but English, that Welsh may well fall into the recesses, the cracks of your mind. But unless, pick something, stick with it, and before you know it, you've achieved quite a lot. 
And this, this lesson led me at the beginning of the year when lots of people were sort of asking as they do, what are you going to do for this year's New Year's resolutions? Well, what's, your, what's the thing you're going to either you know, give up or, or take up? And I don't normally like to do New Year's resolutions because it feels sometimes as though you're setting yourself up for, for a failure, you know, just, just, just to suddenly change a habit um, on an arbitrary day. But this year I decided that every weekend I will do a doodle and I'll post it on the Scribblebeard Instagram account. I'll leave a link in the description below. And so far, fingers crossed, touch wood, all that, that's plastic, that's wood. Um, <laughs> so far, it's working. I've done a doodle every week and I'm relearning the connections between my brain and my hand in terms of mark making and intentionality when it comes to artwork. But crucially, it's a doodle. So if something doesn't quite go the way I wanted it to go in terms of perspective or shape, I just incorporate that into the doodle. And in a 60 second time lapse as they appear on Instagram, they look fine, they look intentional all the way through. And now looking back, I have several pages because actually I forgot to record a couple of them. <laughs> several pages in my, my sketchbook that, that I've had since, I think, I think um, 2006 maybe I'll, I'll check the date uh, <clears throat> and show it on screen that sketchbook has been in my possession for years now and now I'm filling up the pages bit by bit I'm relearning how to mark make and, and interact with with the medium and it's because I've decided to pick summit and commit to it go with that commitment and so uh, I did yesterday as well I finally got around to re, uh, well, to fixing and rehanging a door. The living room door in this house when we first moved in had two hinges. This hop hinge about five, six years ago was a bit loose and it was sort of coming out of the door frame. So I replaced the screws in that hinge with longer screws, I've got nine centimeter screws, nine, 90 mil screws, put them right into the door, door, door frame and the door hung and opened and closed quite smoothly. But really, since November, it's been getting worse again. I think, I think the original screws had rusted. I don't think they had a zinc coating. They'd rusted and they'd starting to rot the wood around them, a little bit crunchy, and uh, and the door was coming out of the frame again. And it got so bad that uh, last week we couldn't even use the door. Every time we tried to open the door, it just go <laughs> and come out of the frame. So it was yeah, it was annoying. But I decided to pick Summit. I picked it focused on it, made it happen. I went and got three hinges instead of two. Fairly, fairly actually overkill in that sense, fairly substantial that these hinges are. And uh, decided to completely reposition the hinges on the, on the door frame and on the door. Use the vibro tool to, to cut out the right shapes and a chisel just to finesse uh, how the door hung on the door frame. Uh, and in, in, in turn also I'm going to be um, putting in some uh, some treatment in the in the old hinge holes before I do some wood filler and paint the whole thing but nonetheless the door now hangs wonderfully and it closes so smoothly it's very very pleasing pick summit and do it make it happen uh, I suppose some people might say you know gain your objective and execute. It's it's a simple notion, but it's surprisingly hard to do, especially when, when, for example, on a day like this, everything, everything has been going wrong. Or well, not so much wrong, but it's just been not quite happening, not quite working with you. You've been working against the day. And believe me, I'm, I was so tempted just to sack this day off and just play Pokemon this evening, you know, until until the until tomorrow, <laughs> frankly. Um, but I'm not. Here I am, at now six minutes past four. <sighs> I chose something. And I'm making it happen, and that's my my lesson for you. I was going to talk about this in a far less agitated kind of way, but maybe it's entirely fitting that this video is exactly what I'm talking about. And now you'll get to watch it, because I'm about to edit it and upload it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. And here, 
fingers crossed. Please. <laughs> all, all of those forces that, that impact on my life, just work with me tomorrow and hopefully I'll have a better day on Friday. Until next time, guys, do take care. I am probably going to be streaming tonight, so uh, hopefully the day continues to get better and I'll see you later on this evening, maybe. But regardless, until next time, do take care. Bye-bye.